prepare to journey back in time. An international team of astronomers has achieved an incredible feat using the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST. They've detected a supernova, the explosive death of a massive star, at an unprecedented cosmic distance. This marks the first time astronomers have directly observed a supernova from the early universe using the JWST. Designated SN in GRB 250314A, this explosion occurred when the universe was only about 730 million years old, deep in the era of reionization. How did they first spot this ancient event? It began with a bright flash of high-energy radiation. The event was initially flagged as a long-duration gamma-ray burst, or GRB, by the space-based SVOM on March 14, 2025. Subsequent observations with the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, or ESOVLT, then confirmed the extreme cosmic distance. The crucial data came from the James Webb Space Telescope. Targeted observations were conducted using JWST's Near Infrared Camera, or NIRCAM, approximately 110 days after the burst. These powerful observations allowed scientists to successfully separate the light of the explosion from its incredibly faint, underlying host galaxy. This discovery provides invaluable insights into the early lives and deaths of stars. As co-author Dr. Antonio Martin Carrillo noted, this is the quote smoking gun, connecting the death of massive stars with gamma-ray bursts, even at such an early cosmic age. It offers a unique chance to probe the characteristics of the universe and the types of stars that existed and died back then. What surprised astronomers most was the nature of the supernova itself. The data revealed that the distant supernova is surprisingly similar in brightness and spectral properties to the prototype GRB-associated supernova, SN1998BW, observed in the local universe. This similarity suggests the massive star that collapsed to form GRB 250314A was not significantly different from progenitors observed locally, despite the vastly different physical conditions of the early universe. These findings directly challenge the assumption that the first stars, formed under low metallicity conditions, would result in markedly different or brighter stellar explosions than those we see today. The team plans future JWST observations to fully characterize the host galaxy and confirm the supernova's contribution, continuing to unravel the mysteries of the early cosmos.